So I said, my mom said to let me give you a baby. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by Drew Brand. All right, so we're back here with a big body spanger. You know what I'm saying? Before we start the video, I just want to tell you guys, I did restock all the gold ones. You know what I'm saying? We got the black and gold, the silver and black, and the gold and gold. And also, we're going to have some new colors coming out, too. The red and gold, blue and silver, and the pink and gold. You know what I'm saying? If you want to stay updated with all that, you can follow at Jurex. But yeah, Jurex.com, buy yourself some heat before these go out of stock again. But anyways, this video is a little different. I've never done nothing like this before. My entire life. This is the closest thing you guys will get to a prank as of right now. So let me let me explain it. Let me explain it for y'all. So boom, boom. A couple of days ago, I did the DMing uh, funny pickup lines to Instagram models thingy, where I had you guys send me people to DM, and I just like made a mad random stuff to DM them. And I was gonna make a part two showing you guys exactly like what they responded back and all that stuff, cause like almost well a good amount of them responded, but. Not the one girl I really wanted to respond. It don't matter. But, um, yeah, I was going to make the part two showing you guys, like, all, the, like, the reactions of what they typed back and all this stuff. But then this happened. Like, I didn't plan. Like, what I'm about to show you, I was DMing this YouTuber slash Instagram person. And I guess I was just bored because the whole, like, conversation happened over, like, a couple of days. I think I was bored and I just started saying, like, mad random stuff. I'm like, yo, this is, like... I'm pranking. I'm, I'm doing a prank thing. I'm becoming a YouTuber. So, um, I was like, I will show you guys it. Honestly, I did not plan on like making this into a video. Like when I was typing it, I was literally just bored. And I just wanted to see what she would say. Basically, I'm going to go through the entire thread of what I said to her. I kind of like, I was just saying mad stupid stuff. Mad stupid stuff. Weird. Weird stuff. But I'm going to show you it all. It's all going to be on the screen. I'm going to break it down for y'all. Her at is the black brat. She's a YouTuber, like I said, and on Instagram. You can go check her out, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to see what she looks like, I'll put some pictures up on the screen right now. I'm going to hit y'all one right there. You want another? Right there. One more? Right there. You know what I'm saying? That's what she looks like. So, um, yeah, let's just hop right into this. So, first of all, in the video, if you did not watch the video where I DM'd, um, like, them the funny pickup lines. First of all, I want to point this out because y'all were saying, "Oh, you you not you don't know how to slide on girls. You can't pick up girls. Your, your pickup lines are trash. Like suck mines." Okay, I'm the best girl picker upper in the entire world. Okay, I was literally just playing around. It was all a joke. It was literally titled "Funnel." I can't talk funny pickup lines for a reason because I wasn't being serious. I just wanted to see if they were responding, and like they did. So I got the W in the end. You bum. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Greg. Anyway, so this is a message I slid up on her thingy with. I said, we can both have our 100K subscribers plaques with us when we take our wedding pictures. Because she had like a picture of her um, 100K subscribers plaque. So I kind of just like went off of that. You know what I'm saying? And she texted back. She was like, LMAO. You see, she put two O's. She was like, LMAO. You know what I'm saying? Or the 1 million plaque. And she said, shrug. Shrug. You know what I'm saying? So right here, I seen this message. I was like, first of all, I don't know why the heck she responded to that lame pickup line that I sent. But either way, I was kind of happy. And then I was also happy at the fact that she was a visionary, right? She was a visionary. She saw a future. She already saw us hitting the milli. I got like 300K. She got like 160K, something like that. And she already saw us hitting the milli. So like at that point, I was like, yo, you trying to get married for real, for real? Like in my head, I didn't say that. What did I say? I was like, yeah, I rock with the vision. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, I, I, I see you. I, I like that. So I was like, yeah, you feel me? I rock with that. You know what I'm saying? And then she tried to like curve me. You feel me? She tried to curve me like, oh, she tries to build a wall. Listen, my dudes, girls sometimes, they'll build a wall. What you need to do is break through their walls. You know what I'm saying? Well, whoa, whoa, pause, pause. Not like that. The barriers that they put up, you block, you don't break through the barrier. Never mind. Just forget it. You just got to counter sometimes what they be saying. So she was like, you in Jersey? Like, she was like, oh, you in Jersey? You're not close to me. I'm in ATL. She live in ATL. So she's like, oh, how did I go work? I don't do long distance relationships. I was like, don't worry about it. I got something for you, right? So I hit it with the, you know what's funny? Watch. You know what's funny? Do y'all you, do know what's funny? I just went to flight to ATL to look at apartments. I threw the, y'all know the throwing emoji, right? I explained to y'all what that is. That's like, I'm throwing it out there. Like, I don't care. Like, I don't, that's me throwing them the message. Like, I don't care. I just threw it out there. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah. I'm about to go look at apartments, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you realize I'm about to move into your state, right? So I was like, boom, boom, bye, bye, ski, ski. So that already broke through her wall right there, you know what I'm saying? She, she tried to put up a boundary or a reason as to why we couldn't get married, and I already devoured that. Destroyed. Demolished. Absolutely. Abs abs 
I broke it, I think. Listen, listen what she said next. Listen. LMAO! Oh, you see how many O's she put there? Look, count it. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. I can't even zoom in. I think that's four. Four. She said, LMAO! You know what I'm saying? She's like, oh, did you? At that point, listen, my dudes, I'm, I told you guys this before. I'm going to tell you it again. If you can get her to laugh, you won. You in there, my boy. You in there like swimwear. You know what I'm saying? If she laughs, you want her. If a girl ever sends more than three O's in LMAO, she wants to marry you. You know what I'm saying? She wants to marry you. So at that point, I was like, boom, bam, whoa. You're coming on kind of strong. I don't know. I was a little bit scared, but I was also a little bit happy. More than a little bit happy. You know what I'm saying? So after that, I had to be smooth. I had to come with something smooth. Because right there, she kind of sent like a conversation ender. But listen, no conversation gets ended when you don't want the conversation to get ended. Math. So I was like, yeah. You, you, you trying to help me look for our new apartment? Now, I want you guys to look at this. Look at it. I didn't say my new apartment. I said our. Because at that point, we was already married. You saw how many O's she put. So I mean, she loved me and I already loved her. So it was our investment at that time. It was our house, our home we were going to build and look for together. I don't know if you guys caught that when I first put it on the screen, but now you catch it. You always, you always implicate, implicate, inv you always do it together. Yeah. So what happened next was kind of wild. Remember I was telling y'all before about if a girl puts only three O's? She loves you. I ain't never seen what the heck she did next, right? Look at this. Elamea! When you come into ATL. At that point, she must have been dying laughing. Like, she was probably, at that point, she was probably in tears laughing. You see that? Or she was being sarcastic and was like, yo, this dude is not funny at all. Yeah, she definitely was dying laughing. She was not. She definitely was dying laughing. So she was like, ATL, when you come to ATL, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, next week. No, I didn't. I said March. This actually wasn't capped, though, because I am supposed to be go, going to look at apartments in March. Um, not in ATL, though. I was thinking, like, Tampa. Um, I was thinking ATL, Tampa, or... Well, those are my two main ones, but that wasn't capped. It was kind of capped, because I'm going to Tampa. Anyways, so I said March. But I can move it up to next week if you're free. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, we're doing this together as husband and wife, because we're married already. Um, and I put the Zish emoji. That's the Zish Sheesh! You know what I'm saying? Like from this clip right here. Sheesh! And then after this, she kind of scared me. This question right here is scary. For everybody that's short, I'm not short. I'm six, seven and a half. Don't get it twisted. But for everybody that's short, this question is scary. You know what I'm saying? She said, how tall are you? Every time that question comes along, I automatically freeze up. It's, it's like forced habit because I used to be short. But now I'm six, seven, I don't have to worry about it. But sometimes I get like PTSD, like, yo. What if they don't want to talk to me anymore when I tell them I'm 5'3"? So it's like, I don't know. I just be getting scared when people send that question. I just want to like pretend it wasn't going to happen. So this is like, this is this. After this message is when I actually started like, yo, let me just start playing around for me, having fun. Like I still wasn't in the mind frame like, yo. I'm about to shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm just, I was just chilling. I was literally just bored and I was like, let me see what she says. So she said, how tall are you? My stupid self said 5'2". Five 5'2". Two. Five two. Now at this point, I was, listen, this was all like, because keep in mind, keep in mind, I was supposed to be shooting a video, reading like the rest of my DMs and stuff like that from like the other people too. It wasn't just supposed to be supposed to be about this person, right? So I said five two. I was ready for it to say scene and she was gonna leave me on red. I had the title ready for my new video. I had the thumbnail ready talking about some and I would put the title like um I said this and she left me on red. I was ready. I was like I had it in my head already. I was like yeah I'm gonna be like this in the thumbnail or like like something like that, you feel me? I was about to get mad views. That's why I said five two. But then to my surprise, she responded. She said, "How tall I look?" I guess she was saying, "Oh, you you built like a three year old girl. You think you could talk to me? Cause how tall I look?" So in her pictures, I don't know if y'all can see it from the picture. She looks kind of tall. So my stupid self, I'm still trying to be funny at this point. So I'm like, "Yo, I'm surprised she's still even talking to me at this point after I said five two. Cause most girls would really be like, "Yo, Dubs, he's ugly." Short. 
midget not worth my time no, that type of stuff you know what i'm saying but um so at this point i was really shocked that she was actually still responding so i was just playing around like the whole time so like i said i'm hoping at least five eight or nine i'm trying to make some nba babies and i know my genetics aren't enough for it i'm not gonna hold y'all when i sent that message i was weak like that was the funniest thing i thought i said in years i was i was like yo i'm hilarious now that I'm thinking about it, it's not funny at all. But anyways, I said five eight five nine, and then she was like, "Wait, listen, look what she says next." I ain't never seen this combination before. Watch. I love you. Uh, 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 uh. That's the uh, 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 was exclamation point. That's look mad sus. Uh, uh, uh. That was. <laughs> oh wow, well, I'm not doing that again. But she said, "LMAO, you for real." Um, no, she said just about. Like, I was right, I guess. I don't know. She was like, you for real 5'2"? Like, are you seriously that short? Are you seriously that worthless? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they be basically saying when they say, are you for real? When you that short? Are you for real? Like, not worth my time? That's basically what people be saying when they say that. I'm just breaking it down for y'all. Um, and I'm still being stupid. I'm like, yo, okay, okay. Like, you're on to me. Stupid. It was, was not funny. You're on to me. I'm 5'1.3". But with Tim's on 5'3". I'm so stupid. I'm not even funny. I don't even know why the heck she's still talking to me at this point. Like, that was corny. And me saying I'm 5'1.3". What the heck am I, a math major? No, I dropped out of kindergarten. So after that, she was like, how you came about DMing me? And this is where I really started to be like, yo, I'm about to say a bunch of weird stuff. So my stupid self said, you want the real story? You want me to make up a better version of it? You know what I'm saying? At this point, I didn't know what the heck, because I wanted it to be funny, but I think I was doing something while I wrote this message, right? So I was trying to like buy time. Um, so I said this, just like buy time. It's so, like I could think of something funny to say. And she said a real story, right? LOL, wow. So I was like, all right, bet. I was like, um, LOL, um, laugh out loud. You know what I'm saying? And then I said something stupid. You ready for this? My mom saw you on her explore page and sent your profile to me and said you'd be cute you'd be a cute daughter in law and yeah. I don't know who the heck told me to say that stupidness, but I said it. And at that point I thought she was finna like there was so many points in this whole like conversation thread where I was like, oh, she about to leave me on scene. It's over. Like, I was like, yes, yeah, raps. It's dead after this. She's not responding. I'm a weirdo who get suggestions from my mom. But she responded and she said, LMAO, she yelled it this time, but she didn't put like Matt O. She was like, LMAO. Okay, okay, tell mommy. I say, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm gonna break down this message for y'all real quick. First of all, she said, mommy. She didn't say mom. So at that point, I was like, yo, she, she, she want me, she want me, she want me. Cause if it was like regular, she would've been like, yo, mom, tell mom I said hi. She said, mommy, that's personal. Know what I'm saying that right there is like she in the family she feels the love I feel the love we got love you know what I'm saying so I'm like dang so I read that and then now ladies males dudes do that if anybody sends you hey with more than two Y's they love you I'm just letting you know right now send that to your crush and if she responds back with hey 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 you know what I'm saying she loves you and at that point you're in there Okay, you broke down the wall, the barrier. Okay, you're in there. Three Hayes? How many did she send? She said three Ys. You know what I'm saying? That means that she loves me and I love her too. So that whole thing set me up for something stupid. Not even stupid. I was just like, let me go on for the kill. Let me go on for the kill. So I said, my mom said to let me give you a baby. Now, when I sent this, at that, that point specifically, I was like, yeah, it's dead. I'm weird. She don't want to talk to me no more. But guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm blocked. Now I'm just playing. She was like, in the minute. This time she yelled it. Yo, this right here, this is when I knew I like had her in the bag, right? Watch. You know what I'm saying? She said LMAO with mad O's and she yelled it. They put a period at the end, like end of the conversation, period. Poo. You know what I'm saying? She's like, you funny as a fridge. I'm, I dead have her laughing right now. At this point, she in her bed like this. <laughs> yeah, that's too funny. 
funny, man. I won. That was game over. Obviously, mom jokes work with bagging girls at any point. I'm like, yo, I just figured out how to always get a girl. Always tell them your mom said for you to get them. And they can't say no to mom. You know what I'm saying? So even after all that, she still didn't even give me an answer. She said, LMAO, you funny as a fridge or as a fart or as a fat dude or something. I don't know. But um, so I was like, so that's a no? I, I just want to be negative. It's better to have no expectations than to get shot down. I don't want to be like, yeah, that's a yes. So when we having a baby, I was like, so that's a no. And she was supposed to say, no, that's not a no. Why would it be a no? Let's have a baby right now. You know what I'm saying? But she didn't say that. She said, you don't even know me. Why you put me on the spot? And it's kind of where I was like, um, I was like, yo, I'm doing too much at this point. I need to calm down. Did I calm down? No. I said, I don't need to know. All I need to know is that our kids will look good and make us a lot of money. And then I said the sheesh emoji again. And I'm saying sheesh. And then I realized I forgot something. I forgot to include that I, um, it's not about making this money and about the kids. It's about me loving her. So then I sent her a message. I was like, wait. And the fact that I could love you and treat you good and all that other stuff too, of course. You know what I'm saying? This emoji, because we really like this. After she said mommy, that's when we became like this. You know what I'm saying? So then after that, she said the dead emojis and she asked for my number. Now, that threw me the heck off. Never in my life have I ever acted that stupid and somebody wanted my number. I don't know if she wanted my number because she thought I was playing with her or she thought I looked good or she thought I was stupid, ugly, or because she was scared of my mom. But she asked for my number and game over at that point. That was literally it. I won, I didn't need to do anything else after that. But then of course, Josiah's stupid self had to keep going and I said, my phone turned off, I'm just waiting for my YouTube check to clear. So now I'm short, a mama's boy, does everything my mama tell me to do, and I'm broke. I just slapped myself, that hurt. But, and I'm broke. At that point I knew, like listen, dudes, dudettes, you could be ugly, you could be short, but you can't be broke because no girl wants a broke dude and no dude wants a broke girl. So as soon as they know you're broke, it's raps. That's why she left me on red. But then I was, I was like, nah, it's just a joke. Now I'm saying, I'm just playing around. It's for your mom. It's a prank. So yeah, after that, we ended up hopping on FaceTime. She was actually mad cool. I'm not going to hold y'all. She was a cool person. It's cool to actually talk to another YouTuber because I don't have like YouTuber friends or nothing like that. Just like knowing, I don't know, it's weird. Cause we, I don't know. Cause it was like, we was talking about things that YouTubers talk about. And I, I didn't never talk to nobody talking about YouTuber stuff. But um, she was cool. Her cousin was there too. It was cool too. Y'all can check out her um, Instagram, her YouTube will be in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to put it there. If not, somebody remind me to do it. Um, like I was telling y'all, I did not plan for this to become a video. It kind of just happened. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Cause um, yeah. I don't got a reason. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed it, you should leave a like right now. If you guys want me to actually turn this into a series where I DM like Instagram or YouTubers and just like say mad random things to me, just let me, to me, to them, um, just like get their reactions and stuff like that. Just like the video, comment down below that I should turn this into a series and bada, bada, bada. I'll see about engagement. If y'all really rock with it, if you don't rock with it, you'll never see another video like this again. But if you do rock with it, you'll see a lot more videos like this again. All right, it was nice talking to y'all. Follow me on Instagram at Juvera underscore. Copy yourself a Juvera by Super Thermal Free. Bought up, save $50. If you get five, you'll get that. You'll get Juvera basically like $12 a piece. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see you all out. Hey, yo, C3, so fly. Hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky. No, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.